Google gives third-party applications a fair amount of control over the Android operating system. And this is really what makes Android so good. However, there can be times where this can be an issue. For example, if an application that you've downloaded from the Play Store is coded improperly or it's not optimized, then it can cause overheating issues, it can cause battery life issues, performance issues, even unexpected things like a random notification alert. Sometimes these kind of issues aren't related to third-party applications. There's actually something wrong with the core Android operating itself. For something like that, you would need to do a factory reset to fix it. That can take up a lot of time, and sometimes the issues are caused by the third-party apps you've installed from the Play Store. So, as a troubleshooting step, we can boot the OnePlus 3 into safe mode. And what safe mode does is it boots back into the ran uh, regular Android operating system, but it will disable all third-party applications. This way, for example, if you had performance issues and your OnePlus 3 was very laggy, all you would need to do is reboot the OnePlus 3 into safe mode. And if while you're in safe mode, if it fixes the issue, then you know there's a third party application that's causing the, the problem. This is the same with overheating, with battery life issues. A very good and quick way to test this is to simply boot up into safe mode. To boot the OnePlus 3 into safe mode, we need to press and hold the power button until the power menu pops up. Then we're going to tap and hold on the power off option. After you've tapped and held on the power off option, you should see this reboot to safe mode dialog box pop up. It tells you that safe mode will disable these third party apps. It's not going to uninstall them or anything. It's just going to disable them. And they'll be restored back to normal when you reboot again. So just go ahead and tap on the OK option. You're going to see the OnePlus 3 reboot. going to go through the regular boot animation. And then it's going to boot back into the Android operating system. All of the pre-installed applications that come with your OnePlus 3 will still be accessible. It's the third party apps that you've installed from the Play Store that will be disabled. Now you're going to see this safe mode watermark at the bottom left. This will always be there on every screen just to remind you that you're in safe mode. You're also going to see all of your third party apps. They're going to be grayed out. And when you try to tap on one, it's going to say the downloaded app has been disabled. So again, for example, if you're having performance issues, you're going to want to reboot in a safe mode like this and then use your phone for 5, 10, 30, 60 minutes, however long it takes for you to get a good assessment on if the performance is better. The same thing with battery life. If you have poor battery life on your OnePlus 3, Go ahead and reboot into safe mode. Use the phone for an hour or a day for battery life. You probably want to use it for at least a half a day, most likely for the full day. Just use it like you normally would, minus the third-party apps, 
and see if the battery life has improved. If safe mode fixes whatever issue you're having, then you're going to need to reboot back into, back out of safe mode, and then you're going to have to find out which app is causing the issue. Most likely, it's going to need, you're going to need to uninstall all of the third-party apps one by one to see which one caused it. So when you're done being in safe mode, you're just going to press and hold the power button again. This gives us our power menu. Tap the reboot option. And we're just going to reboot like normal. You can hold the power button down and force the device to power off and turn it back on. You can shut down from the power menu as well and then power it back on. You basically just need to do a reboot. And then that will bring us back to the core Android operating system. So we're going to go through that same boot animation. Except this time, since we just did a, a regular reboot, we will be out of safe mode. <laughs> 